Previously on Survivor, Tanner's elimination started to drive a rift between Zayn and Cam, and seemingly put their original poo eyes back on top of the numbers. At the immunity challenge, Cam was on fire with the matchstick puzzles and won her second immunity challenge of the season. Meanwhile, Zayn opted to spend time during the challenge looking for an idol clue and came up with one, securing himself some potential power in the game. Worried about the pair of Sam and Emily, Haley, Cam, and Aaron hatched a plan to take out Sam blindsiding a fellow girl gang member, Emily, who is left completely out of the vote. Seven are left. Who will be voted out tonight? That was like, hella smart. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but you kind of like, like have yeah. to like, I don't know. I mean, like, vote did break up five to four. Right. Yeah, so we voted Sam out. Sam and Emily were the only two to vote Noah. Um, I feel very guilty. Between the challenge and this vote, I'm just harboring so much guilt. Yeah, I feel like all of my meetings, like, um, between the challenge and tribal have gone really well. Obviously, minus the fact that I did have to lie to... Emily, I didn't have to lie to Emily and Sam, which was really shitty, and I think Emily was genuinely blindsided. I don't think she was expecting it. I feel like a jerk now, because, I don't know. I feel like Emily's probably going to be pissed, but at the same time, like, she did it to me two votes ago, so I feel like I can explain, but, I don't know. And Sam, I love Sam, so I just feel like we're all, like, really close at this point, so saying goodbye to anyone is, like, really sad. I got played like a violin this vote. Um, ask me if I'm mad about it. I'm mad about it. Um, literally, and now granted, I didn't talk to a lot of people, so in a way, did I screw myself? One hundo. Did I see that coming? 100% not. Ah, I'm so mad. My number one person got voted out again. First it was Tyler, now it's Sam. I'm screwed. I'm sorry about the vote yesterday. That's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> it's the same talk I have with Aaron, I feel like. But. I was made. I was not aware of what this plan was at all. Because if I would have been aware of this plan, I would have thrown a vote on Zane instead of voting for you. But I was told that you were the one that was being voted out this week and not Sam Smith. Yeah. R.I.P. It's hard to. I mean, like. I feel like if I were in the same position, I would have done the same thing. So like, I don't feel like I don't feel like you personally voted for me for any reason or anything. Thank you. Deep down, and I feel like if anything, Sam is the one that kind of like started the me thing. I feel like. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I don't know how you think about that, but. I felt bad writing Noah's name down in the first place, but then like the fact that Noah wasn't the one going home, I felt worse. And when I was going to write down his name, I'm like, I feel like this isn't the name I should be writing down. Like, I feel like no one is voting this way. And lo and behold, I was right about that. I mean, I was happy that it went better than I thought it was. I feel like she was pretty relaxed and calm and, like, okay about it. Like, she understood that, like, why it happened. And, like, I feel like she kind of, like, pieced together, like, um, what people were saying with each other that led it to happen. Like, she just figured that everyone that would talk to her that said my name just kind of lied and, like, 
mm-hmm. knew the whole time about the whole situation and so I mean, she was a little bit mad that like people were just lying to her but at the same time she understood why she was kept out of the loop because she knew that if she was at all involved about it she would have immediately told Sam and like done anything in her power to make sure that Sam couldn't get out. It, I don't know it's just I feel at the bottom sort of but like the guys are still at the bottom because they can't make any moves either so I'm not completely down and out. Um, so I know that you were the one person who wasn't aware that Sam yeah. was getting voted for, so how are you, like, I, I, I want to apologize. No, it's fine. I knew you would, like, understand. Yeah. Like, I trusted that you would. It yeah. was just, you know, I don't know. I mean, I understand why you guys didn't tell me. Mm-hmm. And regardless, like, I wasn't going to write down Sam's name, so, like, but wise it was going to be the same. I mm-hmm. probably would have voted for Zane just to, like, throw my vote because, like, I wouldn't have wanted to vote Noah. I only right, voted make Noah because I thought that's where we were going. Yeah. And, like, Zane's got his name written down so many times. Like, it's just a thing <laughs> now. Yeah. Um, so, I understand. Like, obviously, I was upset to be out of the loop just because, like, obviously, you weren't going to tell Sam that he was being written down. Mm-hmm. So, like, then it would kind of only left me to be the person that didn't know. And, like, I know you guys talked about how it was kind of, like, the Richard thing, and I don't disagree, but also there were more of you that didn't know about the Richard thing, whereas now I'm the only one that didn't know about the Sam vote. So, like, I'm not upset, but just, like, I wish I would have known, but I understand why you didn't tell me, too. So, like, I I see both sides. Yeah. Um, And I won't lie, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. Uh, Not necessarily for this vote or even the next vote, but, um... I think as we get closer, people will, I mean, they, I think they already start, are starting to perceive me as a threat. Whether that means they want to get me out or not is, you know, I'm not sure. So I have just mentioned to Aaron a proposal, or just a thought. Um, clearly Cam is a power player in this game. Uh, she has won numerous challenges, um, which is a first for Survivor, apparently. Um, so I have mentioned to Aaron that we should consider, not, not execute, not, you know, do, but just think about, in the back of our minds, um, voting out Cam, or considering targeting Cam, um, she's liked by everyone, she was voted in touchy subjects most likely to win this game, or, person, person, person you want to win this game and most likely to win. Okay, um, she, so she's, she's well liked by everyone. She does well in the challenges, and she's she's sort of become like a de facto like not head of the group, but like she can she can influence everybody to vote sort of how she wants. She, when when the Tanner vote happened, Haley approached her and she was the deciding vote. When the Sam vote happened, she said she said I want Sam out, and she got Sam out. Um, and the only issue is that she knows I have the idol, but I don't think that's too much of a concern. Um, my only concern with this plan is that I feel like she trusts me and I have a lot of guilt towards that. However, I do applaud the fact that this is such a big move and honestly, I like know that she would be in with us, so. He came to me with a plan kind of to potentially get out Cam at some point, which honestly is kind of smart. Um, like, obviously she's gonna win, but like, I don't, that would be like really tough for me. Like, I'm not, I don't know. Like, I'm like thinking and I'm like, I like don't know how I could do that, but like, if it came down to it, like, and I had to, I guess I would, but, um, I have no idea. Come on in, guys. today's challenge, we will be doing something we call Hidden Agendas. Each of you will have a private list of four items, red cone, tennis ball, domino, white cone, and you will work in turns 
to put the items on top of the buckets. As we go in turns, you have the opportunity you have the opportunity to take off an item and place your own item, working to get closer and closer to your hidden agenda. Once you've achieved your hidden agenda, you win that round, you move on to our second round. The first three people to make it to that or I'm sorry, the first three people to get their hidden agenda move on to the final round and compete for immunity. The caveat to this uh, this challenge is that when you place an item, you may be helping out somebody else. You may be aiding somebody else's victory. So keep that in mind. And with that, so with that, your and with that, we'll get started. All right. Now that you guys know the challenge, let's get started. Haley, you are first up on our random order. Haley's first move is a domino on the first bucket. This challenge is underway. Aaron. Aaron puts a red cone in the second bucket. <laughs> Emily, you're up. Emily puts a red cone in the fourth bucket. Cam's turn now removing a domino and placing a tennis ball on the first bucket. Zane, go for it. Zane swapping out a white cone for a red cone, or a red cone for a white cone on the second bucket. Ella, go ahead. Noah doing the same thing on the fourth bucket. Back to you. Tennis ball, white cone, tennis ball, white cone now. Aaron, your turn. Aaron swaps up the tennis ball for a red cone. Emily doing the same thing on the third bucket. Cam up now. Cam puts the domino back on the second.
of what? Zane plays a tennis ball, white and red county tennis ball. Haley, Aaron, and William Zane competing for the final spot in the round. The final round. Haley puts a domino in the first bucket. Aaron placing a domino in the third bucket. Second row of steps, you three move up to the front. All right, our new order for this final immunity round is Haley, Cam, Noah. You guys are already sitting like that. You guys all have your new lists randomly uh, chosen by each of you. And with that, Haley, you're first again. Ooh. This challenge for immunity is back on with a white cone blink being placed first. Going to Cam with a tennis ball in the second one. Noah responds with a red cone on the third one. Swaps it out for a domino. Cam swaps out cone. We now have a red cone, domino, red cone, and then the white. Now we'll place the blue domino. Nobody going after that fourth button again. Haley places the white cone back on the first one. <laughs> no, we're going for that fourth bucket. We now have white cone, tennis ball, red cone, red cone. That's your sequence. Are you kidding? Haley wins immunity. Wow. <laughs> Just like that, very quickly, Haley wins the final round. Everybody else can even come up. In a matter of just a few Sorry. turns. In a matter of just a few turns, Haley knocked out that second round. Haley, come get your immunity necklace. Congratulations. Haley is safe from the vote. A guaranteed spot in the final five of this game. Well, the first round went pretty long. Noah, you got it right away, but that's just how the how the game goes sometimes. All right, so Haley, you just won immunity. Congratulations, you've guaranteed your spot in the final five. However, we will be figuring out that final five right now, going into a immediate tribal council. Oh, damn! Yeah. We saw this. Damn! I bet none of you saw this coming. Don't do it! Where's our jumping? Okay, so going from the last tribal into this challenge, I hadn't really met up with that many people. I didn't really t spend a lot of time strategizing or anything. The only thing that I think me and the rest of the girls knew going in was that one of us had to win again. Like that was the biggest thing was that we didn't want any of the guys, we wanted to keep with the girls and we did. So I have to go with my gut that I'm not gonna be voted out here. Haley knows I have an idol and she's immune this week. 
and um, Cam and Aaron, they can't screw me over. I hope they don't screw me over. I know Aaron's not. I was not surprised at all that there was a another tribal because I expected that. I was like, I was expecting it last time, but um, we we already have a plan and everything, so so yeah. I mean, I don't know, I hung out with Cam and Aaron, but like we didn't really do anything Survivor related. We literally just hung out, which was fun. But going into this challenge was a lot of nerves because there was a lot of like what ifs, like what if Zane wins, what if Noah wins, like what happens, but it didn't happen, so. <laughs> All right, we will now bring in the members of the jury. Oh my God. I can't right now. The jury is canceled. Richard, Tanner, and Sam voted out at the last tribal council. Sam, how's life, man? Oh, look at me, I'm driving. <laughs> yeah, you look the part, that's for sure. So let's get to you guys now. All right, so this is an appropriate time to ask who's nervous? everybody but Haley and Zane. Haley, it makes sense why you aren't, so let's just get right into it. Talk to me about winning today. Your second win, matching Cam for a uh, for a multi-win season, so kind of talk to me about that. Um, I don't know. It was, the challenge itself wasn't, it was like strategy, but nothing to do with anything besides placing stuff, so it was definitely kind of luck, but at the same time, like, I could have easily made a wrong move and solved it for somebody else, so like, I don't know. You kind of just have to go off that. Like, if Noah would have never placed that on the fourth cone, I don't, I wouldn't, well, I might have won later on, but I wouldn't have won as easily as I did. So then, Aaron, let's go back to last tribal council. We see Sam go home on a uh, five to two vote. So that means that one person was left out of that vote. Has it been kind of open air about who was left out and why? Yeah, we've like, we've all discussed it. I think we're at like a good place right now, so. So fill me in on who was left out and <laughs> as much as you want to discuss around that. So, Emily was left out of the vote. Um, <laughs> we just knew how close like her and Sam were, and we knew it would be like hard for her, especially like knowing that and having to, because I like personally, I was in that situation the week before, and it was really hard for me like knowing and like, you know, like not being able to do anything about it really, but like having to just be like, okay, whatever, this is gonna happen. Um, so part of it was honestly kind of just, to make it easier on her because I know how hard it was for me and also like there's always a possibility of idols so I guess just to be safe. Okay. Kind of that. So then Emily I want to go to you now because you were the person left out as Aaron said. So kind of talk about how that felt this late in the game being the only one left out of the vote obviously aside from Sam who's now voted out yeah. and then you know even more you know more so probably vulnerable in this position where there's a tribal council where you can't really plan ahead for it or have that time between a challenge and the tribal. Yeah. Um, I mean, I really did kind of feel down and out just because of the fact um, that I really was the only one. You know, in the past there have been votes where people were out, but there was a group of people that were out. I was the only one that was out. Um, I understand their reasoning um, because either way I wasn't writing Sam's name down so they didn't need like they didn't need my vote or they weren't getting it whether they told me or not um but it i mean it does concern me but i can't be petty perko about it you know you just gotta move on i mean obviously i'm sad he's sitting there and not with me but you know it's a game and i'm fighting for myself too so i can't let that hold me back okay so now let's move on more to the present and you guys are at a tribal council immediately following and making a challenge for the first time this season we've thrown that that twist in and Zane you're kind of rocking in your chair a little bit like what's what's going through your mind right now or what was going through your mind when I formally announced you're going right into a tribal council oh, well, I was excited for it um I'm not caught off guard by anything or like trying not to be and when you announced that the tribal was going to happen um and as of right now just all the scenarios of uh what I think might happen what I need to prepare for um it's just going through my head right now Okay, so as you were giving that answer, we had some ladies uh, to your left, or to your right, to my left, whispering and bending around people. So is that indicative of what this tribal council is? Is it kind of scramble mode, making sure that everybody is on the same page, knowing that one person is about to be voted out? Can I just say that I have bad experiences from 3-3. Three, three. Um, well, Aaron and I technically both do from 3-3. Three, three. So, I mean, 
morning. I'd like to not have that today, personally. And I'm just hoping we don't have that. Zane raises his hand first, so I'll go to him then you. Zane. I'm not afraid of what happens when it's 3-3. Three, three. Um, I've been to Rocks once. I survived that. Um, and I'm like, uh, you know, that time I had like two <laughs> big idols and all that uh, stuff happened. But I'm not afraid to go to Rocks again. Um, but I know if I, you know, I can avoid it if, if the right snare is presented itself. Okay, so then Haley, you also raise your hand. Um, first of all, I will speak for myself. I'm not going to speak for anybody else. I, I'm i not going to Rocks for anybody when it's Final Six. I'm not putting myself on the line. And I feel like a lot of people would agree, but like I said, I'm not going to speak for anybody but myself. And also, a lot of us had talked about what ifs, if it is a tribal right after a challenge. But a lot of us also had the idea that we were going to have time to talk before. And so since we did not, we just took an opportunity to talk. <laughs> okay. So with that, I'd like to give you guys the opportunity to talk amongst yourselves right now and figure out what's going on if you would like to floor. Does, does, does that sound like a good idea to you guys, or do you know who you're voting for? I know who I'm voting for. I know who I'm voting for. Cam? Sure. <laughs> what about you two at the end? Or do you feel I like you need time to talk? I'm good. And... Mm. Mm. Um... <laughs> so you all are good. You guys have nothing else to talk about. Oh, sure. Sure, okay. okay. Zane, this, this time is yours. If you feel like you need to talk, take that time. No, I'm going to... I've talked a lot in the show, so... I'm gonna... I've talked a lot you in this talk, show. You need to talk, talk to your fellow, your fellow tribe mates. Well, I mean, if they all feel confident, you know, we expect this scenario to happen. And um, I know it's going to play out the way I expect it to. Okay, so you had a plan coming in. Yeah. I don't think that's the case. You don't think the case is that? The plan's going to go the way he thinks it's going to go. Okay. Okay. That is, that is scary. I expected that too. So, there's. you guys don't need any more time to talk. You guys are all good. Zane especially after. Alright, there we go. Sorry. Yes. Good? Zane, you're, you look a little bit nervous. Are you? No, I don't get nervous. <laughs> Alright, well, if you guys have nothing to say, we can just get to the vote if you guys want to vote for. So yeah. this is your last yeah. chance if anybody, any, if anybody wants to air anything out. Nope. No? Alright, well, with that, let's get to the vote. You cannot vote for Haley. She is immune. Everybody else is fair game. Zane, you are first up. Um, but I'm still voting Zane because if he doesn't end up playing it and it's um, a 3-3 tied, he's going home because there's no way that I'm letting an idol go to five. Is a hidden immunity idol. All votes cast for Zane will not count. 
It's too late to take it back, right? Oh! <laughs> I'll read the votes. First vote. Zane. Next time on Survivor. There's no reason to like tear apart what the girls have right now. Yeah. There are reasons to believe it's fake. There are reasons to believe that it's not fake. Today, you will be rotating a marble on a frisbee using centripetal force. I think that we could go farther in this game if we kept Zane in it than if we kept Cam in it. She's one of the challenges, you know, I need to take her. Eliminator. So I was just voted out. Um, I kind of got a hint that it was going to be me this week, just by how cool Zane was acting the past few um, days. And I think Emily kind of saw it coming too when I talked to her earlier this week that Zane might have an idol that he's been keeping because obviously they haven't come up yet. And I think at this point he was the only one that we knew that wouldn't tell us he had an idol. Obviously, I'm very sad that I am leaving. I wanted to stay longer, but I'm really happy I made it this far. Um, on the first day, I told Adam that I didn't think I was going to get past the merge, but here I am. So I beat my personal goal, which is great. And I definitely loved everything about this club that I've been in so far. Um, I definitely, like I said, I did a lot better than I thought I would. I made a lot of friends. Everyone here is a lot cooler than I thought it would be. I thought it would be super scary to make new friends. Um, yeah, 